Yo, what's good? It's Fun Fire here back with another video, and today we're going to be hopping into a, another coverage defense in Madden 23. This is going to be a coverage defense. I'll show a way to send a little bit of pressure out of it as well, so make sure you stay tuned for all of the setups. Uh, before we get into the video, make sure you guys drop a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel down below for more of these videos. Let me know what you want to see next. But this is going to be a play that I've ran since Madden 20, maybe, I think I've even ran Madden 19. Uh, I've dropped videos on it every single year, like three years in a row, and we're going to drop it again. It's going to be this Cover 3 Cloud Show 2 on the right-hand side. And it's going to be out of the best defensive formation in the game. You guys know Dollar 3-2, and with Dollar, very known for its pressure, its man coverage ability, you have four corners, and you can have up to eight defensive backs, which makes it very good. Now, um, personnel-wise, again, you can just get safeties at linebackers. They're going to be in zone coverage, so it's not as big of a deal, but should be noted. Now, we are going to be running cover three clouds, so I actually like auto flip off for this one. I'll explain what we do that. Baseline can be on. Now, zone drops, I'll talk a little bit about that, but for now, you can just leave them on default. We'll talk through some of the things you can do later, but the play you're going to run is going to be on that far right side, cover three cloud show two. Now, with this play, it's important that you run the cloud flat side, the cover two, cover two side on the short side of the field because if it's on the wide side that's where you can get beat on the outside or even down that seam so it's important our bunch short side is the left so we have our cover two on that you know kind of left hand side so that's our thought process you see our cover two there now the first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and just pinch your defense pretty simple pinch everybody and that will give you a look like this basically the same dollar look you see out of a db fire two or a spinner look potentially now not cover two man linebacker blitz, but take a look at what we have. We have three thirds outside corner on the right, and then the two safeties. They're both in thirds. The strong safety is an inside third. This guy's in an outside third. He's not in a deep half, so it's kind of not really a cover two on the left. It's a variation of it. But we do have the cloud flight on that left hand side. So it's not as aggressive because this guy will play further to the outside to where streaks really should not be given up. Now, there's a couple of things I like to do. Now, over here, again, we just have a basic cover three that could leave you open to being beat by a cover three beater. So one adjustment I like to do is actually to put this guy in an outside quarter. He's gonna play a little bit more aggressive to the outside and he's not gonna give up really anything too big. As long as this guy is an athletic safety, since he's starting out on that right side, he should be able to play anything like a streak just from B or whoever in this bunch. Now, you, again, you have a couple of guys here we do only have a three-man rush, so we'll show the straight three-man rush, but we will end up blitzing this guy for some of the setups. Just to get some extra pressure, he sees that corner blitzing, he's going to go to his hot read. Now, we do have a three-rec hook here, so you want to let this guy kind of roam. The three-rec hook, I've said this in a lot of videos, it's like another user. And I forgot to say this, but we're in the 4-6 defensive playbook. So it's in 4-6 or Kansas City. Make sure you check out that 4-6 ebook I dropped. But this could be one setup for now, we'll just man up him on the running back, whatever. Something like this could work. You could even, again, leave him in the vert hook or hook curl, whatever. We'll just man him up for time's sake. And again, you're gonna use him. I like to stand around here, give him the illusion that you're blitzing. And then you snap the ball and everybody is in coverage. Now, it's important that you recognize who you should probably defend. You see the drag there, it's open. Usering on the right side can be tricky for that reason. So you don't necessarily just have to use this hook curl if you want. I'm fine with either manning him up on like the tight end, someone that you know he likes to throw the ball to, tight end, again, it could be on flat routes a lot to where it would be helpful to man him up regardless. So you could either use the three rack hook and then maybe you again, still man up the running back, some stuff like this could be effective. And then it's kind of clear cut, you use your X and then take B. But again, zone coverage is important to be said that when you're running this, the three man rush, you're not really gonna get pressure. So that should be understood going in. Don't expect to get pressure. But with zone coverage, again, you don't want to run it every play. People will, if he sees you run cover two, he'll figure out a way to attack either in the middle of the field or the sideline on that right side. So you want to mix it in with your man coverage, with your DB fire two, with your full pressure plays. But as far as setting pressure, all you'll do is kind of some of the same stuff that we see. You can either you know, pinch your defense, slant outside, and then just blitz that slot corner off the edge. So you could run it like this. Or you could, um, and again, the pressure, it sometimes gets through and you do that, sometimes doesn't. Or what you could do is go with the contain style. So for that one, you're just gonna press, you're gonna contain and blitz this guy and make sure he is in contain. 
and this has the option to get pressure. So we'll run it like this. And then again, you can kind of stand here, snap the ball, and there you see we get the loop. So a couple of different ways to run it there for you. Um, obviously the contain does seem to be a little bit more effective, but it also leaves you more susceptible to the run. A base, sorry, I almost dropped my controller, but a base over there on that left side could be open. So you see how you would have to be putting a passer, but again, as long as you're mixing in the setups, you would be fine. Um, once again, with that setup, you're just blitzing Y, containing, you don't have to crash anywhere, but just move this guy into contain. And then again, you can kind of run your defense however you want it. You don't have to leave this guy on a three red hook if he's like playing aggressive, but not really doing anything. Like you don't want him moving over to the right because that's supposed to be your area. So stand like that and then boom, you're able to like lurk between these things. Now, one thing you notice is for whatever reason, the cloud flat is like sprinting up the field. I'm not exactly sure why he is actually doing that. Cloud flats don't usually, let me see if I just put him on this and it'll make a difference. Yeah, so he is kind of running up the field. So that might be where with the cloud flats, I would actually probably set my zone drops to um, 10 on the cloud flats. So since you have an outside third, he's gonna play the outside more. I feel more comfortable right. doing this. With the curl flat, I'll show you why it shouldn't matter as much with him. But for flats, I like 10, it's a safe number. And overall, I feel kind of comfortable doing it. So we'll set him to 10. And let's go with the corner out play Z spot. Now, one reason I like this is I like to have the outside quarter on that right side is to defend things like corner out. So if we just go ahead and snap the ball, you see he is right there to make a play. Um, I was trying to like click on between two controllers there, but you can see that they both are, or he's defended pretty well just on the basic corner route. So there's not too much concern with that. Now, if they do motion out, I think it, we'll see what happens. We'll press outside quarter, snap the ball. You see it does kind of get open there. So that is where the curl flat could be your concern or what you can actually do. What I don't hate doing is something like this. So you could press everybody and then I would man up him and then I would put Baker in the curl flat. Then you can just use her Jones. You can even still send the pressure by doing that. But I would probably just either leave this guy in a vert hook so we have somebody out there because we're gonna have to play aggressive on the right side, of course. So you could easily run something like this. This is gonna take care of the corner out. If he, and you, don't, you only have to do this adjustment if you see him motion bird out. If he doesn't do that, then it's not gonna be open anyway. This play would be cover two. So we'll snap the ball. I gotta lurk over here on A, but again, you see RB. He's clamped up by Howard, pick artist, and you'll get the interception. So, um, just a couple of things. Again, it would be defended if you ran verticals. If he, and again, it kind of looks like cover two to where it's difficult for him to see. He might not know what play to run until there. And again, with since it is cover through cloud, he might be confused. You can always flip the play on him. It's symmetrical, so you could flip it to where you have this cover two on the other side. And again, the players won't really move because the dollar is symmetrical. The players will stay on the same sides respectively. So you could do that. If you wanted to send pressure off of both sides like this, you could simply just put this guy on a curl flat. I would probably move him out at least a little bit, but this is gonna be more aggressive. You have everybody users, so I'll show a different way to run this actually after, but you're gonna get pressure. Now the running back was blocked, but um, you saw one of those corners got free. So the pressure will still work out of this play. You can do the contain blitz, or you can still send that kind of blitz. So if I was doing that, something that you could go to is just a nice man coverage adjustment. You see me run out of this out of match, um, where you actually just man up, cross man these guys. This will bait him into throwing things like the streak out of that wide curl play. If it's verticals, something like this, it'll be defended, but it's a good way to lurk. Again, make sure A's on the curl flat. Probably wouldn't pinch my whole defense. I would probably just pinch D-line and then press if I was running it like this, but Setup overall still is decently successful. Again, you're kind of banking on getting pressure, of course. That time we didn't. So if you want, you can again go to the this contain blitz where you just move both guys in containment and that realistically should be a little bit more effective. Um, so you just run it like this. One of those guys gets free. You see we get the contain off the right and then we get the loop off the left. So we get a little bit of different things from both sides. But overall, 
pretty effective. Again, you can really switch it up between three or four or five man rush. And again, don't run this play in really back to back plays. You can mix in things like spinner. Um, if you want to bluff the blitz, what I would do is maybe bluff like the cover two man linebacker blitz. We can actually see if it works. Get this guy in contain. Let's try it out. See if it works. Does this guy loop? He does loop. So you can actually run that loop out of this. So I'll explain that a little bit more. I wasn't sure if it would work, but. So for the loop to work, we're gonna press. We are going to blitz this X linebacker who's a safety, and then we're going to shift our linebackers to the left and contain. Now, you, you sometimes have to move him, sometimes not, but as long as he's in the contain, it should work. And we still have really all of our coverage, so you can run this with a four-man rush. Again, you can blitz, and you can man up Y on whatever if you'd like. I would probably still go with the outside quarter adjustment, but you can snap the ball. Boom, we're able to lurk and we get the loop. So that is a really good way to get pressure, probably honestly better than the other ones because it is difficult to block. So you can mix in that. There's, I've showed you like three or four ways to get pressure rushing four people or five people. So there's that. Um, and again, good coverage behind it. Mix it in. I would definitely try adding this to your dollar arsenal if you could, but that's going to be the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you drop a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel down below. Let me know what you want to see next and peace. I'm out of here.